Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Zombie Sonic. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Zombie Sonic, let's begin with the middle and we'll start in the no with the nose. So I'm just going to draw a little nose right in the middle and we're just going to color in most of it. I like to leave a tiny bit white. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down, and then I'm going to curve it up and over. And then we'll do the same thing here, but this time I'm going to go a little bit higher, and then we're going to come down. I want it to be different sizes. Right here, I'm going to make a little curve line and a curve line here. And then I'm going to make this line come out and down, and we'll make this line come out and down. Starting here, I'm going to curve this line down, and we'll do the same thing, just kind of bring it down and in. Right here, I'm going to make a little lines going to go out and in. We'll do the same thing over here, just kind of go out and then in. Starting here, I want to make a little line that's going to kind of go down and up. And I think I'm going to leave this one without a pupil right here. Starting here, I'm going to make a little line and another one here. And then we'll make a little smiley face shape for Sonic's top, top of his mouth. Next, we're going to make a line that comes down. And I'm going to make a little wavy line, kind of like he's drooling, and we'll bring it across the top. Next, we'll go ahead and bring this line up. And then we're just going to make some little teeth in here. We'll leave some space in between them, and we'll do the same thing down here, just a few little uh, teeth in there. Then we're going to make a line that's going to come down and up, and up to here. Right here, I'm going to go up and then down, and the same thing here, we're going to go up and then down a little bit. I'm going to make a little line that curves here, and a little line that curves here. And then right here for the ear, let's go out and down. Then let's put a couple bumps in here, so it looks like it's got a little bite taken out of it. We'll do one that comes up and then down over here. We'll make some zigzag lines and we'll just come up here. And this one we'll do a couple zigzag lines and we'll just make that little triangle shape. Now starting up here, we're going to make a line that's going to come up and down. And I'm going to make some more of those bumpy lines in here. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to come out here. I'm going to put a couple little points on it, and then I'm going to bring it back. Then in here, let's make a couple little bumpy lines. So it looks like his brain is showing. We'll do that same thing, but I'm going to make this one a little bit lower. We're going to make a couple little points, and we're going to bring it back here. I'm going to make another one right here that comes down. I'm going to bring it up, and I'm going to make another like little bite taken out of it. And then I'll do another one here, a couple little points, and then we'll bring it over. And this one we can even make a little line across here. Now, starting right here, we're going to make a line that comes down. I'm going to make a couple little bumps in here, and then I'm going to come down. And we'll do the same thing here. We're just going to curve down here. Now, I'm going to make some skinny ovals in here, so it kind of looks like some of his ribs are showing. So we'll make some skinny ovals. And a couple little lines in there just to connect. I'm going to make a line that's going to go out and then down. 
and then same thing here, out and then down. We'll make a little squiggly line across and we're going to go up and then in. We're going to make a line that goes out and in, out and in, and then we'll do the same thing here and we'll connect it. I'm going to make it a little bumpy so it looks kind of like worn out. Over here, I'm going to make a little line across, and then I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and then in, and we'll just connect it. And then right here, I'm going to make a little zigzag line. We'll do that same thing. We'll just go out and in, out and in, and connect it. For this shoe, I'm going to come up and down. And then we're going to make some zigzag lines right here. Then we're going to come down. We're going to go over and then bring it up here. And then inside of here, I want to make some little lines that come down and back, down and back, down and back for like some little claws coming out of there. We'll make a line across and then two lines down for the shoe. Now this one, we're just going to go up and down for the shoe. We'll bring it across and up. We'll make the line for the bottom and two lines down. This one will be a little bit more normal, but what I do want to do is maybe add some squiggle lines on here so it looks like it's kind of dirty and muddy. Now, starting here, we're going to draw a line that comes down. We're going to come up here. We're going to make a couple little zigzag lines, and then we're just going to curve it up. Now, let's make his arms here. So I'm going to make a line that's going to come down and then out here. And we'll do another one here. We're going to go down and then out. We're going to make a curved line here and a curved line here. I'm going to make lines going to go over and then up. And this one we're going to go over, do a couple little bumps, then we're going to go up here. And this one I'm going to add a couple little zigzag lines. We'll do a couple more here. Now for the hands, I'm going to start by drawing a line that's going to go up and down. And we'll do the same thing here. We're just going to come up and down. We're going to curve this around and then in. So we bring this back up and then we put a little curve like that. That'll be the thumb. For the fingers, we're going to make a line that's going to come out, down, and it's going to come back up. So we go up, bring it down, and then we're going to bring it back here. You can see I'm making them a little bit more pointy. We'll do another one here. This one I'm just going to make some zigzags as I bring it back up. We'll do another one right here. One right here. And then we're just going to curve it back. This one I'm just going to make a couple little lines coming out so it looks like it's got like a broken finger and then we'll add some like little bumps and stuff onto here maybe some little zigzag shapes and then I want to make a few more of his little spikes coming down so I'm gonna make another one that comes down here and up I'm gonna make one more put a couple bumps in it we're gonna come down and then we're gonna bring it back up here And then we can always add some extra details. So one of the things you can do is you can add some like little wiggly spots and put a couple little dots in here to make it look like there's some missing fur. So we can kind of add some of those around here. We can also make like some little lines that come down with some lines across for like some stitches and even some little hashtag marks on there. 
make things look pretty cool too. Just to kind of add a little bit of detail on there. And there you go, there is your drawing of a zombie Sonic. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.